it, it seems coming from the Prime Minister, that is the title of the King of England, Charles III. Let's cross to our correspondent in London, uh, Benedict Pavio. Um, the end of an era there for uh, the United Kingdom. Um, just tell us what, what sort of a mood there is uh, around you at this point. The end of an era, the end of the life of Queen Elizabeth II, the UK's longest serving monarch. Her family gathered around her. And here, the crowds have just been growing over the last three to four to five hours outside her London residence, Buckingham Palace, known to millions uh, here and, of course, across the world. It was only back in June that we were here for the Platinum Jubilee. And yes, she leaves a great legacy. She is a great loss. And we heard from the Prime Minister, Liz Truss, who's been in the job two and a half days, that uh, it is God save the King now, no longer God save the Queen, uh, and it is God save King Charles III. That confirmation of his name, uh, what he will be called, and a special a moment here. I think even those of us reporting on it can't quite believe that it has happened. It has been planned for by British broadcasters, by international broadcasters, by civil servants, uh, minute by minute. Uh, and there is, there are 11 days of very carefully detailed plans of flags flying at half-mast. Indeed, we were alerted to the Queen's death when we first saw the flag above Buckingham Palace, the Union Jack, go to half-mast. So there will be sombre programming, reminiscing a plenty, and uh, she will be remembered uh, very, very fondly. And there will be tributes here in the United Kingdom. In Parliament, we expect a speech from King Charles uh, III. There will be tributes they've begun pouring in uh, from the entire world. And of course, this will all lead up to the state funeral where we can expect uh, former world leaders and current world leaders to come and pay respect to the woman who clearly not just led the UK and um, 14 or 16 countries around the Commonwealth, but who was the most famous monarch and woman uh, on the planet and who, till the end, discharged her duty. It was only on Tuesday that she asked uh, Liz Truss to become her 15th Prime Minister. Benedict, thanks for that. We're going to be speaking to you, no doubt, uh, throughout the course of the evening. 